This episode brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to the Droid Razor Max Drop Test. We're really excited to drop test this phone. First of all, because we think it has the potential to survive all three drops. Let me tell you a little bit about the drop test that we do. One drop directly on the back, one drop on the corner, and one drop straight face down, all from four feet. It's the same thing that we do for all our phones now. Uh, let me tell you why we think it might survive all three drops though. First of all, we've got a Kevlar backing, and it's got this uh, metalized slash rubberized plastic around the outside and we think that might survive the, the make it survive the corner drop really well and then as far as the screen goes it's got this raised edge that might protect the glass on a direct impact now this does have gorilla glass but that doesn't necessarily mean it's it, it is shatterproof it is very scratch resistant so if you got your keys in the phone with the phone in your pocket it probably won't get scratched so badly but yeah, we've had other phones that had Gorilla Glass shatter on the face down test. So we will see how well this phone does in just a minute. So let's get to the drop test. Okay, so we're going to be dropping it with the logo on the screen. So uh, hopefully everything will be working out fine. Uh, and we're going to drop it from four feet right here, right on the back on the cement. And uh, here we go. All right, three, two, one. What does it look like? Okay, well, whoo, all right, well, the side bay popped out right here. Let me get it down here in the light so you can see everything. And that's just the side bay where the micro SD and the SIM card go, so I'm just going to close that up. Looking around, the screen looks to be totally intact, no issues with the screen. The back has got a little bit of scratches on the actual edge of the Kevlar. That's no big deal though. So overall, successfully survived the four foot drop on the back. And then Darren's gonna come out and drop it on the corner for you guys. Hey, what's up guys, Darren Dyke. I'm gonna be doing the side drop on the Droid Razor Max. Uh, we expect it to survive, but we'll see. Again, we do have an image playing on here, so you'll get to see exactly uh, what happens to the screen. So let's get to it. Three, two, one. All right, let's check this out. It does not look like there's any screen damage whatsoever. It does, however, look like there's a little bit of dentage on the side, but it doesn't look like it's in any way affecting the structure of the device. Well, a little bit of a snap there. Looks like it came off just a little bit, but. Overall, it's still functional, still making sound, still making video. I think it's good. All right, sweet. So, onward to the face down drop. But before we get to the third drop, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor. I've been recommending Netflix to my friends ever since I signed up years ago. With a seemingly unlimited number of TV shows and movies accessible right from your smartphone, tablet, PC, or console, why wouldn't you want to sign up? Go to netflix.com forward slash gizmo to sign up for your free trial today. Limited time offer only. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Face down drop test from four feet. Droid Razor Max. Let's see how it does. So here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going to wait to pick it up until... Oh, I'm kind of nervous. All right. You ready? Here we go. Let's see how the Droid Razor Max did. Oh, snap. Look at that. All the glass is shattered. Definitely did not survive. The phone still appears to be working, but the glass definitely was shattered. That would probably be at least a $100, $150 repair cost as a minimum. But everything appears to be functioning still. On off button works. Uh, this is definitely better than Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which uh, refused to even function after uh, the screen got shattered. Unfortunately, the Droid Razor Max did not survive our drop test. It failed on the third one. 
We give it a squib rating of 2.5 because it is alive. You just have to replace the screen. Some of the other devices actually completely conked out. Uh, if you enjoyed this drop test, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. We'll notify you guys when we post new videos. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll be doing the Samsung Galaxy S3 unboxing on Monday, review on Wednesday, drop test Friday. Guys, don't forget to check out our other drop tests. Just click right here if you're on YouTube, and we'll see you guys next week. Use my slip top.